The next word in the glossary is rotation. And, it's, and I have C, patternings of rotating otherness. So rotation is an important idea because it is meant to capture the created character of all social phenomena as we together, almost but not quite instantaneously, pass being around, pass being around with whatever degree of presence or absence through our reciprocal circulating manifestation. <laughs> So if we talk about society, what we're really talking about is a, 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 a movement from me to you, to the next person, to the next person, sometimes through a television screen, one person to many, many people all at once, who are then passing it around to the people when they go out the door. This, this rotation is what society is really comprised of. It is not out there as a something society, as a reified something, but rather something continually in the process of creation as we pass our reality, our psycho-spiritual reality from one person to another at a very rapid fire speed of light uh, pace. So, um, in, in the book, I talk about caf a cafe. I mentioned this uh, earlier in reading the glossary. In chapter six on the economy, I talk about how a, a business is actually created by a passing around of, of roles, a continual circulation of roles from one to the other, where if you s the bank teller comes into the bank and sees the way the other tellers are behaving and then tries to act the way that they behave because they want to be with the bank tellers, be part of that social community of recognition. And if that contains an absence of presence and an alienated style, uh, can I help you, sir? You know, a routine, then that, then that I internalize that and I pass it to the next teller. and All this happen, happens more or less simultaneously. So if the field of meaning is very role-based and absent the, the authentic true self, the true self of our mutual presence, if that's the case, then we are passing around alienated images, internalizing them and are trapped in that web because that is the arena that's what social possibilities there are in that moment, is to connect with each other through the way that reality is being mediated to us by others. So rota rotating pattern, patterning, rotating patterning is a lot closer to what the actual social world is like than referring to society as if it were made up of different, whenever we talk about society as made up of different classes or identities, these fixed entity-like designations don't really capture the way that society is continually being reproduced through the passing of being from one to another. And the positive aspect of that, the hopeful aspect is that the impulse toward authentic human connection is always there in every interaction and can break out and alter this rotation so that things that seem fixed are always changeable, at least in theory. And if there's a sufficient breakthrough of authentic human connection, then there's an alteration of the rotation in social space. It can become freer. It can become better. Men can all start wearing long hair and break the rotation of short hair, which is the rotation of the uptight male body or the strict and constricted male persona. And then it can start to loosen up all around in, in, in the way people begin to act in the culture. And uh, that space can be the space of something new being born where people are saying we're trying to actually really see each other as we really are. Okay, so it's always rotating, 
There are always possibilities in that rotation. And the rotation can be very enclosing. Because if you remember, we have to, we have to become the way we are seen. That's how we are as social beings. It's, not, it's often the case that people think, well, I can individually get out of that by meditation or uh, my individual will cannot be conditioned by the wider environment. But we're social beings. That's not really the case. So while meditation can certainly help us to be in touch with our own groundedness. It's also true that we, as social beings, we become the way we are seen, we internalize it and we re-externalize it. Conditioning is very overwhelmingly powerful in that sense. So it's always through the other that we try to break out and alter the rotation. If you and I together, if I can see you as freer at the same moment that you see me as freer, as we rise up together in resistance, we might be workers together trying to form a union or something, say. If that happens, then you and I can reinforce each other, creating a new, so, new kind of social bond, which can spread like ricochet, like a ricochet to other human beings, okay? So that's the rotating nature of social reality. May I, may I ask you this? Can yeah. I just jump in? Um, I think it's a complex idea that's taken me a while to understand, but it's very important. And I just think at some point it's, it's almost like, is it safe to say when you're in a conversation, it's a, we, you should be careful of the trap of just talking about things as a fixed thing, as the system or, yeah you know, whatever it is, the United States or the, you right. know, or just anything like that. Is it, it's just something to be, if the more aware of that, 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 that is moving and dynamic. Yeah. The better yes. your understanding of reality is and your, your Absolutely. position in that flow. Yes. That's perfect. Use, cool. use that in this. In this <laughs> okay. Interaction. Cool. You can't. Excellent. I love it. And that's a great lesson you've taught me. And I, I've always felt it and it's hard to communicate. And I love how you've spelled it out. And I mean, you, it's okay to use the idea of the system as shorthand or what things like, what things are like in America these days as a shorthand. When you refer to it, to the world as if it were an entity, the system or even America, but it's important to do that with a memory and an intention that softens it so that it isn't presented in a fixed way because it's not fixed. It's always subject to change, although it is very powerful in reproducing itself as it circulates from one person to another, drawing each person into the way each person feels he or she is supposed to be in order to be part of the social group. That's the compulsory part of our social nature. Mm. It's a strong pull. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's always a strong pull. It's very hard, very hard for, very hard for all of us. Mm. That's why I say, you know, if you go to a meeting and you want to change something in your organization, don't go alone mm. or you'll be the crazy person. Go with one other person who can affirm you as you try to stay a different direction or different idea and then all of a sudden it becomes part of the social fabric of the meeting mm. that's great and the meeting the rotating vibe in the in in the meeting that creates the meeting can be altered all right beautiful